For you now, coming back to us, our, on a, so much has happened in between. You know, you did the, the comedy movies, you, did, you were the governor of California. How hard was you it? You had, <laughs> had to be the Terminator there, too, trust me. <laughs> Being in politics, you had to be the Terminator. So and, when, and a kindergarten cop. <laughs> was, it, was it easy, then, getting back into the mind of the machine? just to get back into Terminator? Yeah, first of all, I was really looking forward to it. Uh, but I did not know if they would do another Terminator, if I get asked back or what. Because, as you know, what happens with the James Bond movies and Batman movies, every so often they just switch them out with, uh, you know, newer people. And uh, so I was really, you know, very happily surprised when I got a call and said, will you do another Terminator? And I said, yeah, if the script is great, of course. And uh, so the script was fantastic. Then I started preparing myself for it. I had to gain 10 pounds to kind of have the same kind of a build again, the same frame that I had in 1984 and all this. And it was really fun to get back into this character. You know, I've done it three times, so it was not kind of like starting from scratch. It's like riding a bicycle. You get right back into it. And, you know, the only thing that was different here was because this Terminator now has been around for a longer period of time. He has been longer with human beings. He has adopted some human behaviors. But when he, whenever he tries, to act like a human being, he fails miserably. And, uh, and that's, of course, what creates then the comic relief also in the movie. And you've got a new catchphrase in this film. Are you allowed to... Oh, there's, there's many. I mean, first of all, you should know <clears throat> that you never know when you do a movie which of the lines are going to be repeated out there later on. I mean, the, the audience picks that, the fans pick that. So when I said, I'll be back, I had no idea that this line ever will be repeated by anybody. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, you know, you know. Hasta la vista, baby, and all this <laughs> stuff. I mean, I had no idea. So we, we really don't know what is the catchphrase in this movie here. I mean, people uh, like the line when they said, you know, old but not obsolete, that line, for instance. Yeah. But, I mean, we, don't, we have no idea. <laughs> I think that resonated. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching it thinking, huh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, and, <laughs> and now, because uh, uh, Sarah Connor, she's equally yeah. iconic. So, yeah. how, did you have to kind of get buff for that? Did you have to kind of, you know, she's a badass. She is pretty badass, yeah. I mean, I needed a lot of um, physical strength just to simply carry the guns that I didn't have at the beginning of the movie. That, yeah, by the end was fine. I could pick up a grenade launcher and do, like, 22 takes. That was fine. Nice. Not that I needed 22 <laughs> takes, obviously. No. <laughs> yeah. Every time, I needed just one take. You were on it, but you could have. Yeah. But I could have. could have. I totally could have, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I have to say I was really amazed yeah. in the kind of shape that she got into. And, uh, you know, of course, she, she really spent hours and hours working with a personal <laughs> trainer, working with a gun expert and weapons expert, working with the stunt coordinators and the stunt guys and the stunt women there. I mean, she really put in many, many hours to prepare for this film physically. And then, of course, the acting is automatic. Needed even more time. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The acting, well, you know. But she can lift a gun. Exactly. Uh, <laughs>